Okay, I think we're ready to go. All right, cool. Do you want me to uh, just hit play or? Yeah, yeah, just hit play. This is the video you just made, right? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I made this. Okay, yeah, just hit play and we'll um, we'll get started. Today I made the simplest trap base in all of Rust. It's all you need is a few landmines, a cheeky little base, and you're good to go. Couple that with some fake eco raiding and you've got yourself some easy loot. But before we make the trap, I wanted to see what would happen if we surrounded the safe zone, where players think they are safe, with landmines, and see how much loot we can- Wait, so you, you thought this was actually a good video idea? Well, I mean, at the start I was hopeful. I mean, how hard could it really be, is all we had to do was craft landmines and place them in bushes. Out of all the videos that I've done, this was probably the easiest. Sorry, let me, um, let me just get that, I don't know who that is. Hello, my name is Corporate Brit and I'm here to introduce today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Surfshark keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all the information sent between your device and the internet. That keeps all of your personal data protected from the big companies and those pesky cyber criminals. One of the best things with Surfshark is you can change your location to anywhere in the world, which means you can also watch any Netflix library from anywhere in the world. So you can unblock content that you wouldn't really be able to see otherwise. And another thing, it actually hides your own IP address. So I've been playing a bit of RuneScape recently, and if you play that game and you find someone, they get your IP and then they boot you off the game and then you lose. And that doesn't happen with Surfshark. And if you're worried about having a limit on how many devices you can use with Surfshark, you can use it on absolutely unlimited devices. So if you want to help out the channel, you can get 83% off plus three extra months for free using code BRIT or clicking the link in the description down below. Thank you very much, Surfshark, for sponsoring really today's video. To this. Enjoy. Who was that guy? And why did you let him in? No, let's not worry about that, okay? Back to the matter at hand. So how do you plan on actually achieving this? Well, let's be honest, there was no way that I was going to be able to do this by myself, so I recruited two of my friends and they came and helped me. And this is where the problems began. We all spawned on the beach and made our way inland towards Outpost. Farming a few resources on the way, we were able to meet up and build a small starter base. I'm so used to playing solo that I just automatically craft blocks instead of toy locks. We've got 317 scrap already. What? That was a successful start, I'd say. It's relatively smooth. Uh, watch out, let me uh, place this TC. So what, do you sit in Discord and have your friends on mute so you can't hear them? What's going on here? No, 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 it's, uh, I'm an idiot and I didn't actually record their audio, so that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna demo the wall. Look at us, man. Nice fish helmet. <laughs> let's uh, let's go get the scrap. It's incoming scrap montage. <coughs> I've got net. Well, oh, oh, I kind of accidentally crafted five nail guns. Um, <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now, to craft landmines, you need to have at least a tier two workbench, and that requires 500 scrap. So we spent most of the morning just farming scrap. We got ourselves a tier 2 workbench, and it was time to start placing some landmines. This is when we encountered some of the locals. Oh, I'm not going out there. <laughs> oh, should I put a landmine in the airlock? And then try and... <laughs> and then try and let them go deep. Easy loot, easy loot. Oh, I'm going to open the door, I'm going to open the door. Can you pick landmines up? They're coming back. Ow! Ah! Uh, is he gonna jump in? <laughs> I hit him. I hit him. Please jump in. Imagine. It went off. I actually stood up. Oh, you picked me up. Oh, it looks like it's going well. I don't really understand why we're here. Well, at this point, it was time to place the actual landmines around outpost. And I was thinking, you know, this could actually be quite a cool idea. Get a few kills and we'll call it a day. What I didn't realize is how much pain this would cause. Yeah. 
good. That was me. That was me. Yep, that was me. Yep, that was bound to happen. <laughs> oh. As I died in my own place landmine. Oh, you love to see it. Oh, damn it. i got to figure out a system of how to get to the bodies. It's so hard to determine where they're coming from with the new sounds. Oh, piss off. Go into a landmine, please. Because it has he looting me, but there's so many landmines near me. Come on. Uh, I'm currently on the road up here. Uh, I'm just absolutely surrounding myself in landmines. Okay, I'm just going to wait here and hopefully... <laughs> Wait, maybe if I shoot. No, there was a lot of uh, gunfire here a minute ago. And that base to my right has a uh, uh, hazmat guy in it. So if, surely if we just be patient enough. Oh, I heard a gun. Oh, P2. Oh, I just got domed. Yeah, yeah. I just got completely domed. Okay, I'm, I'm here. Hopefully they come and loot me. Oh, that thing is nasty. What? He's shooting. What? He must have like an 8x or something. Yeah, he's on the roof of that clan base. Someone's someone's coming out to loot it now. No. My Rebby has just disappeared. Oh. Uh. Oh. Someone just went into a. Was that you? <laughs> oh, I killed an MP5, but I died to a roof camper. Yeah, on me. There's an MP5 dead on me. Ah, oh, I have a bag here. Someone just died to landmines. Who is that? Is that one of us? Oh, both of you, I'm dead. It's so hard to get the actual loot when you kill someone with a landmine. <laughs> oh, another one. Another two. Another three. Please tell me that was them. Oh, he's dead. Someone just died. There's a couple landmines here. Oh, he's got AK. He's got AK. Please go into a landmine. Please go into a landmine. Oh, yes! And how did that make you feel? Can I be completely honest with you? Yeah, 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 please do. When stuff like this happens and the video idea that you really want to do in your head to make your audience happy doesn't actually turn up very well, it makes you feel awful. It makes you question yourself and question your abilities to make videos. And when this keeps happening over and over again, you end up going in a downward spiral. So in your head, you just kept stepping on landmines and no actual content came from what you recorded? Yeah, exactly. But what if your audience wants to watch that anyway, even if you do die a hundred million times? Well, yeah, you, you, you might have a point. I, I don't really know. I noticed that there's still a ton of footage left on your hard drive. Yeah, yeah, there is. Uh, so in my opinion, the only way you can really lose in Rust is if you actually just give up. And today, somehow, even after all of the bad things that have happened, I didn't. I didn't give up. I managed to build a little trap base just outside of our main base, and that's where things actually started looking up. been muted this whole time oh my god get out of my base don't you know that's the easiest trap base ever man what are you doing
Oh, somebody's farming outside. I'm gonna sit here like I'm trying to be quiet. Oh, he's got. Oh, he's got a saw. No way. Is it the same guy? Uh, I think it's different. Let's wait for explosions. I think has he been there before? I don't know. Oh, is he dead? Is he dead? It makes you question yourself and question your abilities to make videos. Oh, I don't think he died. Did he die? Did he get in? Oh, I shut the door. <laughs> I shut the door and he's in there. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I, put, did I not put a lock on? Oh, well, yeah. You, you, you might have a point. I don't, I don't really know. Is there anything in there? Is there anything in here? <laughs> I think he's coming. Ow. <laughs> Why is there a kid guy right there? What? Oh, now he's stuck. <laughs> I'm gonna get some metal and try and repair that door. <laughs> he is very geared. I think that's a Thompson he's got. Let me try and get some metal. <laughs> Suppose in the meantime we should me out or I'm gonna come back and raise your main base. Ooh. Yeah, two options, okay? Ooh. <laughs> He's gonna raid me. Well you know what I can do in the meantime, I could just upgrade everything. <laughs> A lot of talking, man. Come on. <clears throat> Oh no, I hope you don't raid me. Uh... Just make sure he can't get out if he's if he's still in there, which I I'm probably he probably still is, let's be honest. Hopefully the landmines will stop him from uh from leaving. Alright, here we go. Oh, he's dead. Um. At the end of the day, you've got to laugh at these things or you'll just go crazy. Do you think you had a good time making this video? You know what? Yeah. I did. This has probably been one of my favourite videos that I've ever made. And to anyone that actually watches my content, thank you. Alright, that's a wrap. Let's go everyone. Thank you.